you know, he smashed life. He's the, one of the biggest rappers in the world. Yeah. And one of the lines he says, my mama said, I'm going to work myself to death. Where do you find the lines between work and life? Point blank, would you guys call yourselves workaholics? Yeah, so you make an album and then you're like, it's not, oh no, I want another one. I want more streams. I want bigger shows. It's had to do with being alone and still with your thoughts and things Jesus, like that. Jesus, weekly podcast. Do you know what I mean? Oh my God. <laughs> This is when I need to be lying on a long exactly. sofa. Like. People that are workaholics usually have like a chip on their shoulder to prove something to maybe someone in their life that like never thought they could. Now listen to Jordan, I'm like, I don't know this guy. I'm definitely a workaholic. Lab, 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 lab. Hello. 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 And welcome to the Are We Live podcast with me, Barnet. Me, Alpha. Me, Jordan. This is, this is, uh, we, told, we said we weren't going to acknowledge it, but this is weird. We're like, another <laughs> camera. <laughs> no, usually we're in computer chairs. That's what's exactly, weird. Exactly, yeah. Like, we've been doing this, like, remotely, and now we're, like, in the same room and stuff. Um, but welcome. This is the Are We Live podcast uh, and with a new segment that we call Song and a Question. Real simple. One of us uses a song. With that song, it follows a question. It's my week this week. And uh, yeah. It's not that new though. Is it? <laughs> We've been doing it for like two years. So It's new to the pu it's public face. Yeah, yeah. It's new, yeah, public face. Yeah. They don't know. To be fair, this is a brand new podcast. So is that, if right? That's, if that's Welcome, guys. Yeah, guys. How's it feel to be starting a new podcast, guys? <laughs> this is a... Uh... Are we live? Yeah, we, you know. Well, are we? Did we answer that question? If we're live. So we've been doing this podcast for like <laughs> seven years now. Yeah. No, um, no, eight. Like pre Joe Rogan. We are the. Holy was it's by Joe Rogan. Um, with those two year gaps that we used to have in between. Episodes. Well, I was going to say, what counts as doing it? Do you know what I mean? If you do one yeah, or two a year. Yeah, we used to release it once a year. Yeah, um, we had a real <laughs> stint on <laughs> once a year. And yeah, so now, yeah, yeah. the fact that we're still doing it is hilarious. Yeah. It's just now, good to catch up with mates as we progress through this oh. ever changing industry. <laughs> Every, everyone, if you can find episode one of Are We Live podcast. Just mute the first 10 minutes when I saw it. That's a blast from the past from Jordan. <laughs> just being like, oh man, you know, I just love everybody, man. Um, okay, so new podcast, brand new podcast. Yeah. Um, can I go, I'm, I'm going first this week? Yeah. Okay, and today's song uh, that I've chosen is Kendrick Lamar, Yeah. So obviously we can't play this. <laughs> Um, licensing licensing we can't afford that uh, so pause this video <laughs> go listen to it and come back and the question will follow after this little break and today's question is are you a workaholic in the lyrics the, 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 the song's actually talking about like I've been revisiting this album quite a lot, especially after Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers from Kendrick that came out in 2022. I kind of went back to Damn and listened to Damn with a different like set of ears. And I think this song specifically, he's talking about like the idea of following your instincts and uh, things working out for you. He's talking from a viewpoint of him being like, you know, he smashed life. He's the, one of the biggest rappers in the world. Yeah. And one of the lines he says, my mama said, I'm going to work myself to death. Mm. And I'm, and I'm interested in, in, in the idea of like, where do you find the lines between work and life? And like, do you, do you, do you understand like when to stop and when do you start? And <clears throat> yeah, what is being a workaholic? And also how does that Im impact, you know, the people around you? I'm um, like my, my fiance Maria was just talking about that and saying that like, she thinks I'm a workaholic. And mm. so I'm interested to be like, I, I, didn't, I, I never looked at it that way. Or me being a workaholic, but I suppose I can't differentiate the, b between work yeah. and not work. Yeah, <clears throat> and I think it also then kind of leads down to other questions as well. But yeah, I suppose it's like point blank: Would you guys call yourselves workaholics? <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, how do you define being a workaholic in the creative industry? Mm -hmm. What is a workaholic? Does that mean you leave your house every day? Does that mean you open your emails constantly to check what new stuffs come through, or does it mean the you produce things at a high rate in terms of things to sell and release at a high rate. Is that being a workaholic? Or is just sitting, thinking of all these ideas, thinking of a hundred ideas a day, is that being a workaholic if you don't act on any of them, if you're just thinking? Because 
the thought itself could take energy out of you doing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, how do you define, like, if there was someone else who you can't get in their head, but you're just looking at what they do, mm -hmm. how would you define them as a workaholic in the, in the creative industry? It probably looks like someone that drops three or four, just, you just look at the stuff they produce, right? Or the stuff they're doing, mm -hmm. like, uh, I don't know, even if they're a musician, I'm talking about creative industry, so even if a musician doesn't really drop, but they do other stuff, so many other things, and you, mm -hmm. they're visible in a lot of other areas, you probably call them a workaholic. Oh, they're working on a film all the time. Or they're working yeah. on a... Uh, how do you do... You know what I mean? Can you put that tag... Can you really put that tag on yourself? Or is it more what, how other people view you? But isn't that... <clears throat> that's really interesting. Wouldn't you say that that's like... That in general? Like, you being funny or you being... Uh, uh, excitable or you being loud is all based on comparison, right? People can only give that to you, I suppose. Like, because funny, like for example, being funny is somebody has to call you funny. People have to laugh with you. Mm. So I suppose like being a workaholic, yes, yeah, it'll be difficult for you to call yourself one. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? It's How like it has to be imparted on you. But I suppose, but if we look at the traits of what someone would describe as a workaholic. Yeah, would you reckon the traits are? Always, I guess, always being busy, always feeling like they need to be busy progressing. You know, that whole mindset, like the entrepreneurial mindset of like, I wake up today, seize the day, what, goal, what goals can I, how, how many songs can I write or how many emails can I like do? Um, that would be one, definitely one prerequisite to being a... What about headspace? Because I think you said something really interesting is like capacity. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like the, the brain capacity, do you know what I'm saying? Of just like... Even if it's not external, because we speak about like the idea of work anyway, and like it's not necessarily just product, right? It's just not. It's not only the external albums, whatever it is, play it, whatever. It is a lot of the time in here, and sometimes to materialize those ideas, you have to have them in the first place. So if it's all clogged up in here, mm. and you can't, it's like any sort of addiction. I suppose workaholic is an addiction, right? And it's if it's when it impacts everyday life. It's when it impacts functionality not only for yourself but people around you then yeah. it might be a holic right? i think yeah i was gonna mm, say i yeah. think the thing with addiction is you do it while trying to do something else when it's time to not work mm. you think about work right like i think that's the right. thing with addiction when you're what if you can just switch it off mm -hmm. and relax or do whatever it is you need to do take care of whatever it is you need to take care of without thinking what's the next thing i need to do or if you have actually time to breathe, but you're like twiddling your fingers, like I need to be doing something. You're not comfortable with just yeah. sitting and being. You want a, you want a project. You want a, that's probably, I, in, in that case, I don't really think I'm a workaholic. At Why? All. <laughs> Why? As in you're happy to separate it. It's not that I'm happy to, it's that like I, just, I, just, I just can. <clears throat> yeah. Um, or I just am, to be honest, I just feel like, I'm kind of alpha in every situation. So if I'm chilling, I'm not necessarily thinking about my year plans or whatever. I already know, or I've already taken that time to, when it's time to think about stuff, I'm in it. But um, unless, it, yeah, if I'm just sort of, I don't know, I haven't played PS4 for the whole year yet, for yeah. example. Yeah. But it's if right I was, let's say, let's say the last year I was, the, the year before that, if I'm playing PS4, I'm not thinking about my next move, or I'm not thinking I'm wasting time. It's the whole thing of like, I, I, I don't get bored either. Hmm. Yeah. So I don't get bored, um, cause I feel like there's always something I can do if I felt like, if I felt like doing yeah. it. Um, so I feel like with work, maybe workaholics, I think get bored easier yeah. when there's not, and that's why so much work is mm. like, they're just looking for the next thing or just building up a, like I might do a lot of things, but, I can, I'm very happy to not, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think I can separate it. But what's it. tricky is though, like you're, you're deemed as constantly thinking about, let's say it's more of the thinking thing where you're like conceptualizing, oh, you know, you're thinking in your head, just sitting down on, on a sofa being like, in six months, I want to do a collab album and then I want to make this short film and then I want to write for screen. Mm -hmm. Like you're thinking, so you're like preparing, which is sort of working, but yeah. Um, at the same time, we're lucky, we're one of those rare people that um, doing something we enjoy mm -hmm. as our job. Yeah. And so, 
like I remember earlier in my relationship, like I'm going, I'm going to the studio late, but I'm not working. Mm. I'm just, I just really have fun doing it. And, and, um, it obviously gets to a point in the more stereotypical workaholic where you've made your album and then you're thinking, you know, campaign. That's when I, it sort of turns into work for me when you're thinking about like press, you know, campaign, social media. So the stuff you don't enjoy. Yeah. The so, stuff when you're you, thinking, so when you're enjoying it, right? like, like you said, I don't feel like I'm a workaholic, but you, you release an album every year and people would say that's, what's that word? Um, prolific yeah like right, yeah, modern yeah. artists to do that usually people are three years but mm -hmm. you're just you're just going to the studio and you it's pumping it out and but everyone would be like oh slugging away trying to and they'll be working yeah yeah do you know what i mean so is that easy then is that is that so this is what i think this is where it gets confusing for me with that because it's going so it's work does work have to be uncomfortable for the deemed as, as work but if you enjoy it then is it work and i think that's where it's difficult because i think one also like music and creativity is, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel, but even if I wasn't getting paid, if we weren't getting any money from it, I will still be doing it. Maybe not the same way, but I would still be finding it because it helps me as well. Like I enjoy it. It's also an outlet, but I suppose the issue is not about you necessarily enjoying it. Also, we don't know anything else. We've been releasing music consistently for yeah. the last 10 years. So we don't know anything else. We don't know what it feels like not to. Would you say, the people around you would say that you work a lot. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, how would they feel about that? Because I think, yeah, it's break. Also, it's capacity, right? It's like, you might not feel the effects of it because you're just used to it. You might be like, oh, this is, I don't feel any, I enjoy it. But that. they also don't have, they don't have your interest. Right. And yeah. they don't think that's as fun as you think it is. Right. So they're like, for example, let's say earlier in my relationship, it would be something like, he values the time in the studio more than, you know, building this, right? Which is that, or anyone would say that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's out. Mm -hmm. He's in this. He's editing that video yeah. later. He's painting all yeah. night. You know, and it's like, well, I really enjoy it. I'm not yeah. working. But is that being selfish? Well, damn. So for for me, it's like weekly podcast. My mind is cons my mind sort of consumed with whatever this is, creativity, music, anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's just lucky that I've been able to find a way to channel it into this thing. Mm. This is just how my brain is anyway. Like I know when things, I, I know the feeling of not wanting to do something. Talk to me Because I have worked, do you know what I mean? Right, like, okay. Just freelance sort of stuff. I used to just come in and paint walls and stuff like that. And like, I don't know, fix toilet light bulbs, whatever the hell. Mm. Um, but the point is that is work. Like if I was working in like JD Sports, that mm. is work. I have to get up to go and make money doing something I wouldn't be doing anyway, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whereas like with music, um, I'd be washing the dishes and making a song yeah. in my head. It's innate. So I'd be doing it. I've just found a way to channel it. So is that being a workaholic, if I all I've done is channel what I do already. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I can't say that me existing is work because otherwise I've been working since I was four years old. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, then I suppose you kind of yeah. have, right? I, 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 I mean... See, I don't see work as that. That's the thing. So work. I, I, we, I guess it's more the like question of like, do people in your life think, would say you are one? Because that, because if we all basically feel like we don't work, then it's more like, do your, you know. But, but I think do, we do think we work. I think that like, whether it's touring, whether it's releasing music, whether it's whatever, that's definitely work. I was going to say what Jordan said. Yeah. Whenever I'm doing something within you don't like, right, music that you don't like, that I don't like, yeah. then I feel like I'm working. But. But even okay, what do you like? Okay, what what's your, what's your safe <laughs> space, guys? In regards to like music, what's your favorite thing about music? Um, I like creating music. I like creating projects. Right. So I like um, the construction of songs. Um, just the comp composition aspect right. of music. Mm. But I like packaging as well. I like yeah. defining what it is. a project, attaching a concept to it, and executing something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like it gives you. Like you, it feels like you're fulfilling something, yeah, and you've done something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, especially when it came from you, it's not just anything. Yeah, I just want to yeah, execute anything. Yeah, yeah. It's just building it from taking, the ground up, taking yeah. something, taking something from nothing to something, basically. Right. So, um, would you not call that work? Like, my thing is that, like, even if say you're in the studio for a week, two weeks, creating something, doing your, what you enjoy, 
you're going to be tired, no? Like, still, I, I mean, I love being in the studio, but I leave and I'm drained. If like, I play football, five-a-side football yeah. in, in, or something like that, and I come yeah. home and I'm tired, was yeah. I working? <laughs> that's a really good part. That's uh, a really good part. But then, then if you were getting you're not paid... paid for it. That's, if you're getting paid for it, then you are. Well, if I played... Five, okay, let's see the, um, mm-hmm. the people that play the celeb football matches yeah. or whatever, mm-hmm. and they really... Like, let's say you wanted to play football your whole life. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? You wanted to be a Celebrating footballer. That, yeah, that, yeah. And you're playing. You get paid for that, cool. Yeah. But you're really just playing football. You'll say you're working, but really inside of them specifically, and we'll see them as working because it's a show or whatever, but they just sort of fulfilled one of their, like, they were just running around for 90 minutes and they got paid for it at the end, but, but it's it- a privilege to get paid for what you, like, but to actually feel that it's work. It's like we need to, I don't know, is I feel like we need to yeah, define it's, it's, work. Yeah, I feel like what it is. Because I feel like, like work like, is yeah. something you perceive as... Difficult. Yeah, something Unjust. you perceive that you have to, Do it to you're doing it as a means yeah. to an end. So that's what yeah. I think it is. I yeah. think that like, for example, like, our up, like seeing our parents work and other people in our life work, where it's like, they have to do that we kind of go, well, I, I'm doing something that I love, so therefore I can't be working because like, at least I'm not, right? I was working in retail for 10 years and I know re- working in retail for 10 years and me doing music are totally different things. But I suppose with that, the work might also come in the un- in, in the self-doubt, in the crippling self-doubt that comes from being a musician full-time, right? The, yeah. the contemplation and the thinking of like, this stuff has to make money, not only for me, but for my family. That's where the trade-off happens. If you're yeah. working a job that is like, just for the money, you can kind of leave the job. Like when you're going home after painting walls, you're not thinking about, well, what wall do I need to paint next? Like you're not thinking about it. You kind of leave it there. And that's what you're getting paid for is the time, but also the disconnect, right? I suppose with music, the trade-off is, yeah, it's, it's your passion and your dream. But in that, it's constant and it's so all over the place. Yeah. Um, On that note, it's slight, slightly continuing that. I'm not one of those people that just say my own story. No, I'm <laughs> continuing the thought. But it's like... it's. In the industry and especially in the live scene, there's like complex between crew people and band people Mm. where crew people are always like, we're in earlier and we're in later. We're packing down and we're setting up earlier. We should be paid more. Mm. And um, I've met this musician once um, and he was like, yes, but the hundreds of hours in our life that led up to this moment to play a one hour show Mm. is you know, we've Part spent the, time yeah, as that's well. What I think. But people that are technic people that are workaholics usually have like a chip on their shoulder to prove something to maybe someone mm-hmm. in their life mm-hmm. that like never thought they could oh, you're not good enough, sort of mm-hmm. thing. So they're always trying to like validate. So isn't they're like the mu- isn't that the music industry? Yeah, so you make an album and then you're like, It's not oh no, I want another one. I want more streams, I want bigger shows. Well, I'm at a point now where I can just go to the studio and it just feels really like fun and there's no like um, competitive sort of validation anymore. But mm. but in a weird twisted way, my workaholic nature. Mm. So in would my you say career, you are one? I, I would say a lot of people call me one. Okay. But I don't, th- I'm just doing the music and I like, for example, my managers joke all the time when I'll say a year prior yeah. I'll have the masters delivered by this date I promise you and then I'll I'll always like make sure it's ready and yeah. like I'm working hard to deliver deadlines or whatever um, and they're always like you work so hard, hard. <laughs> I'm just like I'm just going to the studio and I'm, I'm making a song I'm, I'm giving it to you yeah. it's not like I'm you know working there's a bit of organisation but um, but what I was going to say was my nature of working hard or has led to now me to feel like it's not work down the line. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's helped me in a way, but yeah. um, I never felt like it's been work. You hear those stories of like athletes or anyone doing a job, like a chef or even us yeah. being like, I was just making music when I was a yeah. teenager. And 10 years later, here I am playing yeah. at this venue. Yeah. It's, it's never felt like it's official. Yeah. Today. I'm a professional musician. So I yeah. was going to say, because you just compared them. Um, the workaholic thing to having a chip on your shoulder, having a, wanting to prove something, but you said you had a workaholic nature, but you didn't really have anything to prove. Mm. Like, did you, or do you felt, do you feel like you maybe had something to prove? Because I think there's another side to the workaholic thing, which is not being able to sit still or not mm. being able mm. to. So it's not that I want to prove a point to you. It's that 
I don't feel comfortable doing nothing. Oof. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, I'm right. definitely that person. Like, even on holidays, I want to be going on a walk or going to the high street. I, I can't be that guy lying on the hammock on the beach. How, how come? Because what if you what if you lie and what if, what God, happens? Is it, is it to do with like being alone? <laughs> It's to do with being alone and still with your thoughts and things Jeez, like that. Jesus, weekly podcast. Do you know what I mean? Oh my God. <laughs> because This is when I need to be lying on a long sofa. Exactly. Um, no, no, it's it's like, I just, this is interesting. Mm. This is the, this is a, what um, I have read about recently. This basketball player has this as well. I'm not coining the term, but it's called irrational optimism. But like, I feel like, I'm awake for this amount of time. I just want to do stuff. Mm. Like I even now in the last three months, I really struggled to sit down and watch TV at the end of the day. I feel like I want to be like planning something. Productive. Yeah, productive with my time, which is definitely this problem. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah. I, mean, this, this, <laughs> I mean, my wife my wife calls me a workaholic. So, um, Giant man, I'm with, I'm with you. And in, By yeah, the same and, and time, you, you just called it irrational optimism. Um to call it workaholic, I guess, puts a bit of a negative spin negative. on it. And irrational optimism is the other side of it. It's probably the, it's probably the other side of the same coin. Yeah. Like you want to be productive constantly. You can see that as a good thing. You want to be productive <laughs> un- constantly. You're running yourself into the ground. You're a workaholic. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But so, I, don't, I don't get that burnout, though. That's right. the interesting Would thing. Would you get the but my thing is, like, I'm just trying to attach it to, like, being an alcoholic. Also, like, you can't, if you don't work, if you don't, if you have to yeah. steal and don't work... It, would you see? Because I'm, if I don't work, and this is what I'm definitely, I think now listening to Jordan, I'm like, I don't know if I this guy. I'm definitely a workaholic. But um, it's like somebody who's an alcohol problem, they can't function if they're not doing the thing. And I suppose me working helps me function, right? Planning whatever or having an idea and putting it down. Yeah. If you didn't do that for well, weeks. I, 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 di- I did notice though when I had, when my son was born last year, mm. um, and then I had four months off. That was, it was the first weeks, two weeks were hard. Yeah. Not only because there's a newborn, but also I'm like just sitting around. Um, but then you really enjoy it. Yeah. And then actually you have new perspective. And yeah. then like we talked about yeah. before, you, well, when you're trying to balance being a parent and also trying to be a f- working, you ha- only have this small amount of time to work. So then it becomes like a new way of doing it. Yeah. Um, but actually they say this loads, you need this space and perspective to be creative again. Yeah. Um, so you need to live yeah. to, in order to create. Agreed. And so that was like my first ever block of non-work since I was, you know. Would you do it again? Well, yeah, if I have another child, I'll have, <laughs> I want to be a pre- present father, you know. Um, but yeah, no, definitely like I would do it again because now I see the benefit of like having just a clear head. Yeah, space, you know, like, like, Sometimes you can just use all your ideas as well. I feel yeah. like I get in the studio and I just like, oh. I did that two weeks ago. I'm, yeah. I'm running so, out of so, tricks. Right, okay. So you need new like content. Right. To- so, okay. So I suppose, I mean, as we wrap things up, the question is, are you a workaholic, Alpha? You're saying no. Yeah, I don't think I am, yeah. Jordan, you're saying yes? Someone else is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm leaning towards the yes, but I would love to, we would love to know what you guys think. Are you a workaholic? What defines workaholic? What, what, yeah, what defines a workaholic? Um... And, and yeah, like it'll be great to kind of like expand that a bit. Thank you for watching the episode. We'll be back soon. Have a great time. Peace out. Peace out.